What's going on, guys? I appreciate all of you that are hanging out, waiting on this stream to start. For those of you stopping by watching the replay, though, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on all notifications when we do these live chats. You can take part right along with us. So, kind of an oddball situation here, um, including my sin of the day. I mean, we'll talk about the two fragrances here in a second, but some of you have seen the whole spiel with Purple Suede and Goldfield and Banks. It was uh, one of those live streams where I took you guys shopping with me. I got Twilly Two Cents said purple ombre leather. Purple had a smell, sold me on it. Ended up getting it. Definitely ties into ombre leather, this wood leather note it has. Smells similar to ombre leather. Very aromatic, very woodsy, not too spicy. It's I like it quite a bit. I have five sprays around the neck. It's damn good. It's damn good. This is one of the better pickups so far. Um, technically not for this year because of the very end of 2023. But <laughs> in the last few months, this is, this is clearly one of the best pickups I've had. It's like a twist on ombre leather. I'm very much into it. It's kind of a quirky leather fragrance. And then on top of that, so the gentleman in the members live stream that won the bottle of Black Prestigium has not gotten back to me yet, which kind of a blessing in disguise because... The seller sent me Oud line in the Black Prestigium packaging. So I worked it out. I told him, look, I don't have time for a return process. I'm going to buy Oud line. Send me the damn bottle of Black Prestigium, which he already put in the mail today. So I paid another 70 bucks and bought this. I've never looked into it before. Don't I'm a, Obviously, it's an Oud fragrance, but we're going to see what's up. Um, second, when I get in the line line, because I have lemon line. I know mean, they have black line. I never tried that one. That's why I was like, totally random fragrance haul, I guess, because on top of that, one of the 500 bottles of Mr. Majestic from Atrium, shout outs to Sean Connolly, channel member, longtime viewer, bought himself a bottle, bought me a bottle and insisted. He's like, hey, man, I bought another bottle and I want to send it to you. So here we are. That's what makes this so random. Was never, I, I've never had the plan of getting this and this was a total random surprise, so. Totally random fragrance haul. Here we go. There's your title. So <laughs> we'll wait till about the 10 minute mark and then we'll dive into this. Let's see who's doing what in the chat on your way and definitely hit that thumbs up. I see we're starting to get a decent crowd already. Black line's amazing. Well, if this one's pretty good, then I might have to get black line because that would make all three. I think there's only three in the line. Paul, good to see you. Musk collection. Kaylin's wearing business over pleasure. Jorge de Profumo. Never, never heard of that one. What's going on, Drew? Roses on Ice. I want to say I've smelled that one maybe one time. It's been a couple of years, though. Adam, good to see you wearing rare carbon. Hat of the days at nine, white 950 FC Dallas. Dennis sent a new arrival tapas volant by Leslie Tweed's Imagineers, an iris version of the Dreamer. I didn't care for the dreamer. I'm not like that, though. You never know. Real real niche stuff tried before you use. Dan, not the man. Weren't strong with you. Oud. Terrence is layered Sauvage Parfum and Blue de Chanel Parfum. I bet that's interesting because standalone, they're both great. That's my favorite Blue de Chanel and my favorite Sauvage. You guys are killing it today. Y'all have to be the best smelling live chat on YouTube. It's unreal. Add to that thought, Adolfo's wearing Dior on Parfum. Whoops. Versed enough in oud fragrances, there are notable notable differences scent wise between oud versus I. I don't even technically know what that means. I think it means Arabian oud, the oud, aud, however you want to say it. I'll just say oud, make it simple. I don't know honestly because there's a variety of different ouds. There's Chinese oud, Cambodian oud, Arabian oud. There's beyond that. There's more. There's several different types of oud sourced from different places in the world that have different nuance to them different aromas overall. So as far as the A in, in that, I'm, I'm assuming, I've always assumed it means Arabian Oud. I honestly don't know. Uh, I tried using it the other day and it did not work. It did not work. You see, sir, we're in Amarud Licorice Woods. I bet that's good. Layton, can't go wrong there. RGD's wearing Ferragamo Womo Signature. I kept thinking it was Friday all morning. Definitely not. It is, it is definitely not. We're looking at Thursday. Listening while on the road wearing Creed Viking. Will you, sir? Smell great. When souls get high. What's going on, Randy? Been a bit. I was away. Also, hey, chat, wearing Camera Coffee. Just got it in. Nice ginger coffee top. 
smoother than the original. I like it better than the OG. Hope you're well, man. I am. I hope you're well, and I agree. I like it way better than the original. I think it's superior. Arrows Flame for Kicks Griffey. Got to love the name. Nishane Papila Fico for Enrique. Raph, how are you? We're in Byerly. I haven't tried that one. Yeah, I, I don't even know what kind of fragrance it is. I never looked into it because I still wanted to get Mr. I still haven't gotten around to getting Mr. Maritime. I don't even know if he still has it in stock. I wanted to get Mr. Maritime, but Mr. Majestic, uh, apparently it's limited. This is bottle number 268 of 500. So <clears throat> I guess there's only 500. So slap that like button. Let them know. Picked up Care Pistachio. In it, ooh. Ooh, you weren't wrong. Both of them. Yeah, they were featured in today's video. Those are really, really good. I noticed a lot of people have been getting care pistachio and I haven't anybody come ha, had anybody come bitching at me saying that it's terrible and I'm a shill and all this other shit. So because God forbid some because that that happens. People will buy something based on my opinion and it doesn't happen all that often, or at least I don't see it all that often where they'll end up not liking it and call me names and say I'm lying just because they don't like it. It couldn't be that I like it and they don't, and it's subjective. It's, oh, I'm lying because because I didn't like it like you did, so you're lying, sir. <laughs> it's, it's funny how the internet works. The internet continues to just never disappoint. The internet never disappoints when it comes to just fuckery. <laughs> There's loads of it here on the internet. Let's see. Next one, Spencer. Good to see you, sir. Bentley the Collection, Mellow Heliotrope. I haven't even heard of that. That's a Bentley fragrance I've never heard of. Dominican Tobacco by Ibrahim al Karashi. Is that how you say that? Tobacco and Orchid. Goodness, speaking of Sean Connolly, that's the gentleman that sent this my way. Appreciate you, sir. Coach Platinum had to blow the dust off the bottle. I'd have to do the same thing if I wore mine. I haven't worn it in a little while. Wano Cho, good to see you. Polo Blue Gold Blend. That's a great fragrance. Work break. Javanchi Gentleman Reserve Privé. I wore that one last week. That's a great, great fragrance. Excellent choice. Alexandria too. Another great fragrance. Dino's in the house. Azaro Wild Mint. Happy late afternoon. We're in Kenneth Cole Black Bold. Just bought Apple Brandy on the rocks. Finally. We well, can't go wrong with a lot. Of, like all the Killian fragrances that are in that kind of bottle. That like, you know, mixed drink glass looking bottle. Those all seem to be really good. That seems to be a lot of people's favorites from them. Tonka Cola. That's a phenomenal option. Fresh member. Well, congratulations and welcome to it. I see we got another member on top of that, Mary Murphy, with the elite membership. I appreciate you. Welcome. And then on top of that, where'd you add your membership? Because I don't see it on here for you, sir, but welcome. I don't know what level you're at. You must have you must have uh, signed into the membership outside of this particular live stream because it's not showing in the chat. Shows your, I see you're a member because of the logo. But uh, what, what level are you? You're eligible for any of the giveaways. Speaking of the giveaways, everybody that responded to me and we verified their identity, all the packages went out. Dossier giveaway, the last dossier giveaway, the Ajmal fragrances. Like I was able to get everything done at once. Holidays kind of slowed everything down a bit, but all the packages that needed to go out are out. So welcome. Raspberry Feud. Oh, talking to Paul. Okay. Apple brandy is so nice, Randy. By Killian is for sure my favorite house as of now. Uh, I want to say, I want to say I did because on average, Joe, we did some live streams with some samples he sent me a while back. And I want to say that was one of them. I just don't distinctively remember the scent profile. So we're almost to the 10 minute mark. We'll give it another minute or so. Give everybody an op opportunity to get here that wants to be here for the main topic, the two fragrances. Um, I see we got 100 people in the chat. Don't forget to hit that like button for me. I know when I click refresh, it's not going to be anywhere near a good ratio. Yep, half. <laughs> Come on, guys. Y'all know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mention it, and I'm going to ask nicely. Please do me the favor, because it does matter. It does help. It all feeds, feeds into an algorithm. It's engagement. Engagement matters. So I appreciate you guys. Let me click skip. Oh, geez, Mary upgraded the Hall of Fame. So we haven't put the, the polls out yet. So part of what that is, and it's going to be next week that I put those out, you're going to be eligible to vote on the main prize at the niche tier and at the designer tier because you're eligible for the tier below you as well. And as long as everybody renews, there's going to be two spins at the niche tier again, and then there's always three spins as of late um, at the designer tier. So you'll be eligible for five different giveaways. Um four different full bottles and then one mystery package. 
So I haven't put out, I usually try to keep it pretty seasonal channel favorites with the main prize. And I'll, I'll, you know, give you five, give you guys five options each to vote on everybody votes on whatever gets the most votes. That's what I go by. And we give it away in a members only live stream at the end of the month. So <clears throat> let's see. Oh, damn. Great minds think alike, huh, Eddie? Legend Spirit. That smells really good. Grapefruit Aquatic. The hard work. Raja Elysium. It doesn't even matter which version. All three are good. I like all three of them. Let's see. Drew Love Killian sent me a gift for my birthday. Hell yeah. Got to try the whole collection. Found one I love even more. Cody, good to see you. Allure Ohm, the original. I don't know if I've ever tried the original Allure Ohm. I don't recall ever sampling it. Sport, Sport Cologne, O Extreme Edition Blanche. Yeah, I've tried all those, but I don't think I've ever tried the original. Clinton, good to see you with YEDP. Cryptic figure, good to see Spice Bomb Infrared EDP, my favorite designer release of last year. What's going on, Jason? Montabaco Intensivo wore that one not that long ago. Hit that like button, let them know. So that was where Mary's uh, first round came, and then she ended up upgrading beyond so that's pretty cool griffin that's one of our recent uh winners so your package went out yesterday sir hope you're having a great day as well sensually explicit i like it and you're wearing a great fragrance adonis awakens beautiful raspberry rose wood fragrance all right let me find a decent spot to stop so we can go ahead and get into this let me scroll down a little bit good to see you montrese Catching some stuff on my way down. This was where she upgraded. Wow, I get behind so quick. <laughs> it just takes... Oh, Mary is your wife. Okay. Well, Raph and Mary, we now have the happy couple, both members of the channel. Ah, I see what you're doing, Raph. You're getting yourself a second opportunity in these spins. I see what you're doing there. Crafty. You're so crafty. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see. Whole conversation in the membership stream, Sally. I missed out on something. It shouldn't have been. I don't know what's up with YouTube. I emailed them. I didn't hear nothing back because I didn't change the prices. And when I go look at it, it's the same old prices I've set: four ninety nine, nine ninety nine, twenty four ninety nine, one forty nine. Some pe for some of you, and and we've narrowed it down to something about with the smartphones. For some reason, it shows different prices. I don't know why. I have no clue. I did not change any prices. I swear I have not. And like literally, let me show you real quick. So let me, I got to pull uh, pull your comment down. But when I click join, see, $499, $999, $2499. I, I did not change it, sir. I did not change it. <laughs> so that is not me. I don't know what's up with YouTube. I emailed them and I haven't heard back yet. I appreciate the super chat. Nishane Ani, big support from Croatia. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. So we're at the bottom. No cheat. She loves fragrances. She just subscribes so, so she so she can't comment in the chat, but she says whatever she wins her is hers, not mine. I love it. I love it. Most of the scents are, aren't super crazy masculine that end up winning the vote most of the time. I mean, occasionally you, like when Leighton and Percival won those different times, those are pretty masculine, but Aside from that, there's been some really good stuff that's been, been going and that you guys have been voting on lately. So let's go ahead and get into this first one. I'm super curious about Oud line, honestly. Of course, I want to start with the Mancera first. I've never looked at the notes. Obviously, it's an Oud fragrance. I would assume Rose. How often do you get Oud without Rose, right? Sprayed right away. That concerns me. Is this a partial? No, it's full. Kind of a sweet Oud. Pretty sweet. Not sugary sweet, but a little fruity, maybe some vanilla. Okay, this is not a funky oud at all. Very sweet, a little smoky. There's a muskiness, but I wouldn't call it like a dirty musky smell. This is not what I anticipated it smell like. I mean, I don't really know what I was expecting it to smell like, I was anticipating a funkier oud. There's a different woody nuance here. Might even be a little bit of like suede. Some kind of leather, soft leather. I 
this is a softer fragrance than I expected. It's not as aggressive. I was expecting an aggressive, relatively funky type of oud. That is not the case. This is a smooth ass fragrance. Didn't see that coming. Sweet oud, maybe. I keep wanting to say a creamy patchouli. That's what keeps coming to my mind, and I've been fighting saying it. But it's a little smoky. I'm thinking there's a creamy patchouli. The sweetness here reminds me less of fruity, more of tonka or vanilla. And it's musky. It's actually quite pleasant. I don't come across all that many ouds that are just a pleasant, smooth fragrance when it's clear that whatever oud oil is used is the main playing role here. It's, it's the star of the show. Let's look at these notes. I'm super curious now. Let's see what we're working with. Right, I have to type Mancera. 2014. It's not a new release. Oriental, woody, floral, spicy, fruity. So it is something fruity. Loatian oud. I'm guessing that's a sweeter oud. Turkish rose, vanilla. So it is vanilla. They do have raspberry, though. Woody notes, patchouli. Okay, so there is a patchouli note in amber. Not some crazy complex fray. It doesn't smell like a deep scent. It doesn't smell complex, so I'm not surprised to see a limited note breakdown. Pretty much makes sense for the most part. What are they saying is similar to? I don't have any of those. What is this? Ood Knight. Never tried that one. Never tried that. Manager of Lasagna, Indonesian Ood. Never tried that either. And what is this? Wild Rose Oud. Does share similar notes. Not too shabby. It's definitely more vanilla than I anticipated. It's a little powdery. It's definitely getting a little powdery, but it's got this muskiness to it. I don't know what to attribute it to. Maybe the Oud itself. I don't know. I'm sure they won't give me really any breakdown of it here. I'm not looking for frequency. It's our fragrance of the perfume. So they don't really tell you anything about it here. Not really. Obviously, it's a woody note. Well, so it comes across as a sweeter oud. I don't think it's just the vanilla and just raspberry making it a sweeter fragrance. Like, I'm surprised sweet isn't listed as one of the five main accords. It does have a little bit of a smoky tone to it, though. Just a little hint. Again, I have to attribute that to the oud itself because there's nothing else here that would dictate that unless, like, Gaiac Woods, one of the woody notes or whatever. It's just a combination woody note. Um, and the rose isn't overdone here. That's probably what's providing a little bit of powder, but I'm sure this creamy nuance, like, I, I was smelling a little bit of patchouli in the first place, so that creaminess I'm getting definitely smells like a creamy patchouli, so... I would have been surprised to not see it in the note breakdown. So seeing it here, it makes total sense. Like most of this really does make sense. It doesn't strike me as special. I have to say, this isn't one of those Manceras where I'm like, oh, I'm so glad I got this. This will be a pretty rare situation that I'll wear this. It doesn't really speak to me, but it does smell interesting. I got to say, it's a nice fragrance. It's very smooth, smooth, sweet oud. I don't have a lot of those. I wonder if my wife would like this one. She's not typically for the ouds, but this isn't the typical oud stuff I wear around her either. I appreciate it. I like that it's not redundant to other Manceras and Montals that I have. I'm going to go with a 7 out of 10 very good. It's not flooring me. It's not, holy crap, I'm totally going to wear this in the next week or two. It doesn't like compel me to want to immediately like wear it in the next couple of days. But it is a nice fragrance, so I'm not going to undercut it with a, a subpar rating because it is a very good fragrance. I do think very good 7 out of 10. It deserves that rating. It just doesn't come across as special to me. There's no like remarkable quality about it that makes it stand out among other ouds, better ouds that I feel I have from Mancera. 
But I think that's a fair assessment. I mean, if it's my thoughts. My thoughts are my thoughts, right? But 7 out of 10, I think that's a fair grade for this one. It's not remarkable, but it's far from just an average boring fragrance. It's definitely got some real character to it. This is not for everyone. This is for a perfume enthusiast. This is for somebody that's really into this. This isn't something you would recommend to somebody that's tired of buying fragrances from Macy's and wants something different. This isn't the first stop on a recommendation, you know, more, uh, slightly more advanced level in the hobby for this would think. All right, let's see. Where was I? Didn't get the notification. What I missed? I just got into it. No, I haven't done Mr. Majestic yet. Not yet. We just did uh Mancera Oud line. We're going to do Mr. Majestic here in two or three minutes. I'm going to get caught up on the chat. Spectre Ghost. That is a good one. You might be the best in the line. Well, don't tell me anything because I know nothing about Mr. Majestic. I don't know what the scent profile is. I haven't looked at anything. Sean Connolly sent it to me. He bought two bottles and was like, hey, I want to send you a bottle. So here we are. I have Mr. Majestic. So that's hence the name. And then the reason I have Oud line, for those of you just getting here, I bought Mancera Black Prestigium and the seller sent Oud line instead because Black Prestigium was one of the niche giveaway spins. It was the second spin and it got mixed up because he was selling Oud line as well. So the, they got swapped in different packaging. Packaging. I have the Black Prestigium packaging and the right bag for Black Prestigium with Oud line. So to skip the you know, the whole ordeal of returning it and then getting the new one. I said, look, I'll just buy the damn bottle. Send me Black Prestigium. So that's what happened. He put Black Prestigium in the mail today and I bought this for 70 bucks. Black Prestigium was 105, but I just bought this. was like, screw it. I never had any plans to get it. I have it now. Didn't have a plan to get this. This was random. So that's why the title of this is a totally random fragrance haul because it is a totally random fragrance haul. Whereas PC can't upgrade on my phone, but can on PC, just an FYI. There you go. Good information. Hope you had a great workout, though, Boz. See, I saw that they have a 60 ml for like 46 bucks or something like that at, at Fragrance Buy. I've been kind of having my eye on it, on giving it a shot. I might end up getting it. Rosewater Faint Oud is a good spray around the house. Warmer, breezy day. For the weekend... Gold line. Okay, so there's more than three. There's four in there. Okay. I have no idea. I don't know why the hell it's doing that. Sometimes they pass extra fees on the customers make up for the cut Apple takes. Yeesh. Episode where you and him battle in the spring sense. Yeah. The concept. Can't wait to see the next one. He hasn't done one in a long time. That was fun doing the first sense. What's going on, Jared? Good to see you, my man. I hope so. I hope so, because that's one I'd like to get. I don't want it to get scarce on me. No, no, Oud is better than this. Yeah, Oud is better than this. That smells like uh, burning firewood and a creamy vanilla. Yeah, roasted, roasted marshmallows, kind of, the way the sweetness is. That's better than this, to me. Anyways, Oud is definitely better than this one. It's good. It's, it's not as good as Oud Vanille, though, I think. You can see Sarah just received French Riviera, and I'm excited to give it some wearing during the warm months. Thanks for your content. Today's scent of the day, signature pour on from Zaharoff. Kudos to you, Devin. Second video, Sally knows it all. Channel, I'm excited. Like a bottle of Coco Loco. Amazing scent. The stuff's perfect. Central Hub, good to see you. Wearing Second Soul. One million gold nude. Another one wearing Creed Viking in, in, the, in the chat today. Michael Gassaway, how are you? Happy Thursday. Rocking a sample of Tony Iommi today. Still forming my thoughts on this one, but wafts I've been catching throughout the day are undoubtedly pleasant. Excellent longevity. Floris Honey Oud. It's really good wearing it today. I've never tried that one. I can't find it anywhere outside of it. Like the eBay listing that I picked, because he's got more than one bottle, is 105. That's like the only listing I've seen. I haven't checked all the discounters, but like Fragrance Net didn't have it. Fragrance Buy doesn't have it. And uh, eBay... is. Like 105, like that's higher end for Mancera from discounters to pay a hundred bucks or more. And look, when I bought Black Prestigium, it was like 75 from Fragrance Buy. Damn, you know, damn. Imaginary offers. <laughs> Versace Versace, okay. 
the best part of your view is the blind guess. And that, and that's the exciting part for me. That's why I don't like looking at no breakdown. I try to look as, as little as possible because I know I'm going to end up looking after I smell it because I want to, I want to test myself and see what I can and cannot get right. Um, that is the absolute most fun thing about this for me, not just in live stream format, just any time is trying to limit my exposure to any and all note pyramids. I can try to pick up what I can. Sometimes I'm wrong. Sometimes I'm right. But it's always fun. <laughs> Every single time it's fun. <clears throat> I'm slowly building a hell of a, a Mancera and Montal collection. I really am. Never tried anything from them. Good to hear, Boz. Good to hear. Kerosene blackmail, man. You got to try the suit. Smoky, woody, resinous, fruity, spicy. That does sound good. Does sound good. How are you, sir? Oof. The only one I don't care for from the house. It's just too regal and dirty of a vetiver for me. I've tried it. I've tried to like it. I was okay with it at first, but throughout the wearing experience, it's just I can't do it the whole time. It's a monster performer, and that's one of those vetivers This is just a little too much for me. Oh, man, that stuff's crazy. So, all right, let me scroll down a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and get into the next one. Uvani is great in the air, but don't smell it up close or you'll get that Mancera power. I like how you say that. Yeah, some stuff's just better in the air. They're just better to experience out in the air. I'm not going to sit here and try to take credit for that. Uh, I'm sure it has some effect, but I mean, it can't just be me. You know what I mean? It can't just be me. Kenzo Aqua, no, I have not. That is indeed a brand. Everybody's favorite dentist. You're damn right. Yeah. Yep, Dr. Britt Baker. D M D can't wait for her to return, especially now that Deanna Prazo is in AEW. I hope that does. I hope they don't botch that the way they did Taya Valkyrie. AEW book your women better. I'm going to get it eventually when it does. Should do another best do it all list. It, I do need to update that because I have gotten quite a bit that have been added to the collection. And you're causing inflation. Oh, hmm. Don't blame me for that. <laughs> Don't blame me for inflation. But let's go ahead and check out Mr. Majestic. So shout out to Sean Connolly once again for sending this my way. This is now my second of Omar's offerings. Shout out to Omar. I do like the sleekness to the bottle. So he's added something. Have this uh, top-notch looking feline here on the back. So there's an additional sticker to the bottle. I like the simplicity and uniformity of these bottles. I really do. It's a clean look, some heft to it, basic ass cap, but eh, it's okay. Really good atomizer. I don't want to say what it smells like out in the air yet. I want to smell it up close because it might be wildly different on skin. Like plum and gingerbread cookies. I said it. There you go. That's what I immediately thought of. This is way better than Mr. Romantic. I'm just going to say that right here and now. This blows the other offering I tried from him out the water. This does not remind me of other things, whereas that reminded me of Armani Code mixed with Lana Weed alone. It's really good. My wife loves it. She loves both of those DNAs. This? Rich juicy, spicy, and it has like this cookie sweetness. That's why I say kind of like a gingerbread cookie, like uh, this cookie dough-like smell to it. Shit, this is good. This is real good. Damn. Shout out to Omar and, and whoever his perfumer is for Atrium. This is really good. I can't wait to look at these notes in a moment. It doesn't come across as like super unique, like it's potentially never been done before. I, I don't, it doesn't remind me of anything. Like nothing's jumping out to compare it to, but this is just a really enjoyable fragrance to smell. It's thick, rich, and juicy fruit sweet, but not like apple. It smells like it would be a plum note or um, not just plum. 
what's what's the other one I'm thinking of? Another purple fruit. Why am I drawing a blank here? Not dates, which that's not purple, but it's got to be because there's there's some spice here that's kind of countering it. It's got to be plum. It's got to be plum. Go to atrium. There we go. All right. Let's pull it up. Shop atrium. Oh, he's got one more coming. Mr. Majestic, the head turner. Okay. One that sold out. So he sold all 500 bottles already. Kudos. Damn good, too. There's Omar for any of you that. Up, oh, Plum. There's Plum. I'm, that's cardamom. I'm assuming that's iris, some kind of wood. All right, let's see. It's a 25% extract, fruity, dark, woody, powdery, and warm. Eight hours longevity, medium to loud project, projection. Okay. Plum often being an underrepresented note in men's fragrance. This fruit is often seen in more feminine and intensely sweet. This isn't intensely sweet though. Mr. Majestic presents this note in a new way. Plum is made masculine and balanced combined with spicy cardamom, warm ambers, woody and creamy sandalwood and iris. Where's head turner? Blah, 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 blah. Where is the full note pyramid? That is what I am looking for, sir. Where might I find this? Maximum of five hundred dollars. Five hundred bottles were made. I don't want shipping info. Where's the rest of the note breakdown? How does he not have the whole thing listed? Is that the whole note breakdown? Plum, cardamom, amber, woody notes, sandalwood, and iris. I guess that is it. So there's my spice. The creaminess must be the sandalwood that's coming across with this amber plum cardamom kind of giving me this gingerbread cookie kind of smell. It smells like plum and gingerbread cookies. A little powdery, but it's way too warm to even give the powdery note it's due. It's not heavy on iris. Like I'm kind of surprised that iris is in there, but it's, it's not heavy iris. Like I would not call this an iris fragrance. It's very much just a supportive oil, not an iris fragrance. This is a plum and cardamom fragrance for sure. This is warm. This isn't overly sweet, but it has that juicy fruit smell that's not too sweet, but it's a, it's a rich, thick smell. It's like biting into a plum. Like if there's such a thing as a spicy plum, like I can't imagine that tasting good, but the aroma that it would give. I know this is kind of weird the way I'm describing it, but that's how it how I interpret this. It's very much what I thought is what it is, minus the iris. I, I would not have guessed that. Um, this is damn good. This is way better than Mr. Romantic. This is like an 8.5 out of 10. This is great. I'm not going to quite give it a 9 out of 10 outstanding. Maybe through full wearings. Now, this one makes me want to wear it in the next week or so. Oudline did not. And I'm not saying I won't wear Oudline. It just it didn't compel me. The way this does, this has more my taste. This is more to my taste because it's so warm and spicy. It's just the right amount of juicy and sweet, just a bit. This is fantastic. Who's this perfumer? Let me see where I can find this information out. Maybe I gotta go to about. Here we go. Bring me to the table. I mean, uh, you guys can look with me. Creative and consolidating wardrobe. Discover yada yada. Why does it not show the perfumer? It's the only one that sold out. Hmm. I could have swore. He had information about his perfumer on here. I want to say last time we were on the site for Mr. Romantic, he did. What does it mean? I could have swore he had his perfumer on it. And he may somewhere else. I don't want to spend too much time looking around, but I'm impressed. This one's impressive. And it's not another one that's not a deep, complex fragrance. It's very straightforward. I pretty much hit the nail on the head for the most part. Minus expect Iris still kind of surprises me, but maybe it'll come out more as it dries. But 
this cardamom kind of smells more like cinnamon to me. And maybe it's whatever this ambery oil or cord that was used is adding to it because it's a, it's pretty intensely warm and spiced. I would say that's the main accord here is warm spice. Man, I really like this one. This is a damn good one. I got to give it to them. It's a damn good one. 24 hour. Ooh, and that black rose order is in. Excited. Can't wait to get it. Hell yeah. Bond number nine, Lafayette Street. Let's see. About your blind reviews, your reaction, surprise, elation, and ponderance is what makes it exciting. Definitely put your smellology degree to work. And, it, and it's no degree. It's just a ex childlike excitement, like getting a new toy is basically what I can best describe me getting a new fragrance and wanting to smell it without having looked at the notes. Now, look, do I not look at every note breakdown? No. Sometimes when I'm shopping around, I do. But like stuff like this, I wasn't expecting on getting. So, of course, I didn't look at any note breakdowns. Wasn't planning on buying them or anything, you know, so just kind of shook out. And one of the two is very much impressive. Very much impressive. Any new clothes on Black Friday? I got some very nice Adidas outfits. When uh, Just some Saints hoodies. I got three new Saints hoodies for Christmas that family got me. One from my grandmother, one from my uncle, and one from my mom. Yeah, <laughs> sure did. I got three new Saints hoodies. <clears throat> Not hate watching today. Well, I would hope you don't hate watch any day. I mean, you're subscribed to me. Shame on you if you hate me, but you're subscribed to me. That's just foolish. That's just foolish. <clears throat> That's our collection. Okay. Look what crawled in. Let's see. Banana Republic Grassland. That's a good one. What's the public reactions? So much for getting this one. <laughs> Let's see. Ferminish. What is that? Is that the perfume house? Ferminich. Okay. World's largest privately owned fragrance. Okay. Ferminich. So it's uh it's CH. Okay. Because I'm very familiar with Jivadon and Mon. And the name sounded familiar. So yeah, they're one of the flavor houses. Okay, so that's the flavor house that was used. No sin of the day yet. If I had to pick from order of Mancera, Aquawood versus Artisan Teal and CK Reveal. Joy put me on that CK Reveal. Also, CK Reveal is similar to Ultra Male. And I'm, no, I don't think so. No, it's very boozy. Very sweet, boozy, guava, brandy. Not quite all that similar. Per Parfumo. No, that's not the perfumer. That's the flavor house. So the perfumer works is contracted through Fermentage, is what it is. It's like, like for example, with business over pleasure and uh, an evening mystique and just Zaharoff's house releases, Claude Deere is the perfumer. He's contracted through Mon, which is the flavor house where the oils are sourced in the laboratory and, and materials used and stuff like that. <clears throat> we just had an emergency yesterday, gallbladder stone, everything back to normal way. At least everything's back to normal. Not yet. I saw Fragrance Buy put, put it in stock. Who that hating? Why well, still shipping? Yeah, from Fragrance Buy. Can you rank these from best to worst? Aqua Cinciali Blue, 3 a.m. Well, I haven't tried Intenso, but easily Aqua Cinciali Blue would be better than 3 a.m. to me. Much better performance, and um, it just speaks to me more. It's a more fresh and spicy, fresh, spicy kind of blue fragrance. Uh, a little powdery. I do like a little bit of powdery nuance in my fragrances. Sean John 3M is quite unique for a freshie, though. But Xenia Intense, I've never tried. I'm very curious on why you keep saying that. Who are you, Burner Account? <laughs> what the hell? What's what's this this not hate watching thing you keep sticking to? I noticed Calvin Klein Euphoria Intense seems to have been discontinued. Glad I got a bottle of that stuff, too, even though I'm not a big fan of it. So I'm not really a big Anishio guy. I don't have a ton of experience with their stuff. Uh, so I really can't recommend anything from them. It's number one. It's the greatest of all time. That is the goat of atomizers. 
That's a good one. Apply to any of us, really. Do you ever think along your evolution and get the real mission, become a certified degree and all if possible? I don't plan on doing that, no. It's not that serious. It's just, it's just a hobby, man. <laughs> I just love it. I'm not trying to get into it to actually go create fragrances to try to get contracted, you know, with a house and, and make fragrances for houses and stuff, submit submit uh, modifications and fragrances. No, I'm not interested in even in the least bit for that. Not even 1%. Scent of Peace, that's a good one. I'm assuming it's a burner account. It's it's this. Keith who? He keeps bringing up the not hate watching. And then a minute ago, he said he's not hate watching today. And this I was like, well, you're subscribed to me. That's kind of weird if you were hate watching. <laughs> yeah, come on now. Uh, no, I, I don't have Angel Men. My bottle from the early 2000s is running low. I do not. I do not. Anisio Absolutely Aphrodisiac is amazing. I haven't tried that one. Cool name, though. Psychedelic Love, I've heard really, really good. Isn't that one like, is that a plum fragrance? I think that one's a plum fragrance, huh? Best thing you got your nose on this month. Well, we're four days in, so, hmm. That's that's close. That's close to, to call here because part of me wants to say Dolce Amalfi because that's such an addictive fragrance to smell. Mr. Majestic's up there, though. But I think my scent of the day is going to be number one for right now. Just of recent stuff in the last week, I would say. Purple Suede. I'm really loving this one. It's a beautiful leather fragrance. It's like a, a different take on ombre leather. And I can really appreciate that. Finger on the trigger. For, I haven't pulled it, though. Understandable. Uh, I don't have any experience with the brand, actually. And if you're watching it, you should click the like button. Don't watch the video and not click the like button. Show support. Hey, I agree. You're not going to hear any arguments from me, Spencer. The hidden gem for sure. Plum and Cognac for me. I've heard so many good things about that one. I literally have a decant right here. I just haven't opened it. We're going to save that for a decant live stream. All right, let's see where we go. The top of Sublime. Beautiful fragrance, Gary. Excellent choice. Most initial fragrance. I've heard they're all pretty good. I've tried Atomic Rose. Um side effect musk therapy like i've tried a few of them ooh for greatness ooh for happiness um none of them have compelled me to need the fragrance john stevens that i believe that is the perfumer good call that sounds right worn it twice as it dries down vanillic and cozy that fresh juicy plum is at, up top is good i like how it stays warm it's it's staying nice and warm. whatever ambery oil accord or whatever they use is really good. It's at the forefront. It's good stuff. This is really, really good stuff. Very impressed. <clears throat> We're gonna get more into this year. So the main thing is I'm trying to expand on my small, somewhat respectable Zerzhov collection. So I'm up to like six or seven fragrances now. I still have Neo and, and Dolce & Malfi right here. I just got Gen Mephisto Gentle Womo the other day. So that's three Zerzhovs I've gotten recently. And uh, man, Neo's so good too. Can't wait for springtime. I'm totally going to wear this probably the, like the first day I have like 70 degree weather. I'm going to rock that. But yeah, Zerzhov. I, I want to get more Zerzhov fragrances this year. Just certain ones, not all of them. Um, I want to get Renaissance next. I've been procrastinating getting Renaissance for two or three years now. I'm, I'm finally going to get Renaissance. I want to get it by the spring, like in the next month. Maybe next haul, I'll get it. Glad you love Purple Suede. I had a feeling you would. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. Of the last week or so of stuff I've gotten in and smelled for the first time, I think it's my favorite. That's why I'm wearing it today. Like This is one of those fragrances that compelled me that I'm like, because all that stuff's still right here. Blue Macho's right here. Uh, Bojnikov's Purple Hat. Um, let's see. We got Arabian Night Silver. Like all, all the stuff from that haul is still right there, as well as the Zerzhov fragrances, the uh, the Viage fragrances. From the other, they're all right here in a little pile. But this was like, yeah, I want to wear this one before I wear the rest of them. <clears throat> he did all of them. That makes sense. I th I'm pretty sure... 
that it was John Stevens. It sounded right when you said it. Hope all is well and you're having a great week. Happy Land, Green Irish Tweed. May EJ rest in peace. Tom Ford, Fougere Dargent. Justin would be very proud. He's been wearing that one a lot over the last year. Rifakat. I just picked that one up. It's in today's video. It's such a good fragrance. I have. I got it when it first launched. It's literally right there. Right where my finger is at. It's right there, front and center of my Emika Left fragrances. That is one of my favorite niche releases of the year. It's so crisp and fresh. It's funny how it smells like gin and tonic water, but there's no cords, there's no juniper or anything like that that would you would think would create the smell. It's such a, like, I could keep calling it the cocktail hour fragrance. It's beautiful. I look at the other channel and couldn't find them. You should add a channel's category to, on your YouTube. My channel's category is how to and style. So it's it's under a category, a channel type. It's how to and style. And the other one is people and blogs. This used to be people and blogs years ago, but it switched over to how to and style because <clears throat> it fits into that category more. And psychedelic lover, my all-time favorites. Haven't smelled the newer batches, but older batches are so good. Zerzhoff Ivory Root is really good. Zerzhoff's a great house. I agree. And, and look, I love every... I have not had a single even remotely close to miss from the ones I've bought. Um, I really think um, I'm going to finally bite the bullet on Naxos at some point this year because I've had a, I've had a, one of their little box samples of it. Very familiar with it. I just kind of put off. I'll get it later. I'll get it later. That's always what I think. I'll just get it later. Not that serious. I'm going to get that this year. I'm going to get Renaissance probably within the next month. Um, I'd like to – Torino 21 seems like it's going to be pretty redundant. I have a decan. It seems like it's pretty redundant. To, it's like spicier Aqua Celestia Forte, so I'm not going to get that one. But I might check out Torino 22. I want to sample that one first. I don't want to just blind buy it. Uh, that's one that I just want to make sure first. Um, I'd like to get Uden or Uden Overdose. I don't need Alexandria 2 because I have Ormond Jane's Andrea. It's pretty much the same fragrance. Very much. Because when I saw Joel mention that, I was like, that's what I couldn't think of. It totally smells like Wrigley's Juicy Fruit. The yellow pack totally does smell like that. That's why it's so freaking addictive. Joel had mentioned it in my comment section on that video. And I was like, that's what it is. So, yeah. It was, shout out to Joel. That's exactly what it smells like. Amber Oud Tobacco Edition. Speaking of the devil. Yeah, Alexander Sue's really, really good. Send of the day, Tigar. Oof. You're killing it today, man. You're killing it. Oh, I have 40 knots. I have 100 ml. That, uh, shout out to my man, Devin, longtime subscriber to the channel. He sent me his bottle because it just wasn't for him. I have 100 ml of 40 knots. I did a dedicated live stream to that fragrance. <laughs> $2 super chat. I appreciate you. On Saharian Wind. I've never tried that one. I've never tried it. Let's look it up. I've never even heard of that one, actually. Twenty twenty release, spicy, oriental, woody, leathery, and resinous. I like what I see so far. Okay, this has potential: pink pepper, spices, leather, bergamot, cypress, lavender, lily of the valley, woody notes, amber, vanilla, white musk, patchouli, tobacco. So it looks definitely spicy leather. The cypress could do a few different things. It could be minty. It could be earthy. It could be just bright and aromatic. It could add to the lavender. The pink pepper, same way. It could add to the lavender. It could be sweet. It could be spicy. The woody notes, tobacco. I wonder if that tobacco, it must be more on the woody side because it's not mentioned in earthy anywhere. So that tobacco might not be all that earthy. Same with the patchouli. It's got some real potential. I'd be open to that. I'm open to just about all Manseras for the most part. That's why I like with this one, it was like, I'm not even going to send it back. I'm just going to buy the damn thing because I'm eager. I want to smell it. I wasn't going to spray the man's fragrance if I was going to return it. So I was like, eh, let me just buy this. And, and here we are. And it is nice. I got to say, it is nice. Add it to the collection. I'd be open to checking this one out, Matthew. I don't know when. I can't guarantee when I would buy it. And I appreciate $2 Super Chat, but you've piqued my interest. Got to keep that one in mind. It does look interesting. Paragon is a plum fragrance. 
I have one million royal and protolome and tints on the way. Excellent. I've I've tried Renaissance before. It's like a minty citrus. It's really, really good. Another one that was like, ah, I'll get it later. Just like with Naxos, ah, I'll get it later. Well, I'm tired of waiting for later. Best aldehyde fragrance. Ooh, period. Mark my words. It's my absolute favorite fragrance. Been on plum kick lately. Low medial extreme. Ooh, plum and cognac. Paragon, kerosene, blackmail. <sighs> Hands down, sensual obsessions, Andy Warhol. That's my favorite plum fragrance. Dominant plum. Older bottles of it, too, before it changed to King Andy. Because there's more oud funk in the older ones. Oh, yeah. Hands down. Easily my favorite plum fragrance. Over two days ago, so far. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it's very, so fresh. It's so fresh and crisp. Crisp is a good word for that fragrance. I used to years ago, but I don't. I used to try, you know, you can do your scent of the day in Fragrantica back when I used to use that shithole. Years ago, um, early into the channel, like I would say first year of the channel, because we're moving into year five here. July is going to make five years of the channel. Um, I used to use it. I used to do daily. I would mark what my scent of the day was, and then I kind of got away from it. Now I just kind of look back on my scent of the day posts and kind of go off of my memory. Just what do I know I've worn multiple times? Because for me to wear something 10 times in a year, that's noteworthy because I'm always wearing new stuff, always testing new things. So it five times, six times in a year might potentially make it as number 10. You know what I mean? It, it all depends. Uh, but I usually kind of keep an eye, keep track of certain seasons. And it's like, what did I wear the most in the summer? What was I wearing the most in the spring? And that's kind of how I kind of keep track of it. Thing is, it smells just like add the little bit of spice to Maison Francis Kirchon Aqua Celestia Forte. And it's, they smell so close to one another that it's, I'm just going to wear Aqua Celestia Forte because I have a decant. Jared, it was either Jared or Jason. One of them sent me the decant. And it is really good. And if I didn't have that, I would get Torino 21. But I think they're too similar to where it's like, eh. Waiting for it in the mail. Well, there you go. Dying to see that black rose bottle. Well, uh, hopefully end of next week ish, maybe mid next week ish. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice smoky, leathery, ambery fragrance. That's actually really good. I haven't wore that one in a long time. Oh, really? It stuck to my skin like glue the other day. I was surprised. Naxos is amazing. Let me scroll up back to your initial comment. Oh, so yeah, oh, you just got to go to my homepage. On the homepage, it shows other channels. Just the main page. Yeah. When you go to TLTG Reviews, see my other channels? This is just the main page right here. See, it's on home. We're live right now. Recommended videos for you, or in this case for me, live now, my other channels, shorts, popular videos, past live streams. Yep. You can always find them right there on the main page. Hey, teach their own. Teach their own. I don't have any real experience with it. Outside of one time that I um, I just caught a good one that I'm going to answer in a second that I just saw on YouTube pop up because um, it's funny. I just thought the other day, is it time to revamp that for the year? Um, I don't have much experience with it. Un's nice overdose on the way. Un's light, though. Amazing, but they are quite different. Un overdose is nice, fresh tobacco fragrance. So a bunch of y'all are saying Uden Overdose. Niche Dreamer. Oof. That turns me off a little bit because I don't really like the Dreamer. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no. That's just my two newest ones, Neo and Dolce & Malfi. I've got 40 Knots, 
Mephisto, Mephisto, Gentle Womo, Ascento, and I'm drawing a blank. That's it, six. Yeah, I got six. So much depth and quality. People overhyped it. Now there's hate for Naxos. It is a great fragrance. I agree. Has a better fragrance house. Abercrombie, Banana Republic. Oh, Var Varvados. Between those three, I'm going Varvados easily. I would take the John Varvados fragrance collection over any of the stuff that Abercrombie and Banana Republic's icon line is fantastic. And Abercrombie and Fitch, they always put out solid stuff, especially the first instinct line. There's no secret. I'm a big fan of that line. But yeah, I would definitely take John Barbados. Okay. Let's see. It's not the best Zerge off. Not even close. It's in the day of black gold from Ann Sarah. It's a banger for fall. Oh, shit, forgot about that also. Got King Andy. I'm saying. Things the best house. Not everyone's going to love Tony Iomi or Alexandria too. So here's the one I was mentioning from Dawn five dollars super chat. We ever make a top 10, 15, 20, etc. in your collection at any point. So I've done that at multiple times in the past. I usually do it once a year. And I have gotten a lot of fragrances in the last six months. Because it was maybe spring last time I did it. So a couple of seasons have passed and Probably 200 fragrances have come into my collection since. I might do that here in the next week. I got to really take a look back and see, because that's going to change wildly from the last time. It's going to change a lot. It will. There's going to be some that are still going to be there that it's never changing. They're just some of my favorite. Like my top five, still my top five. They're still going to be there. And I will rank them as my top five. The rest will just kind of be put them whatever, wherever you want. But I'll do the 20. And the last five will be the top five. Um, so that's the only part that will actually be ranked is the, the last five. But I will do that in the next week or so before the month's out. Let me say that. Before January ends, I will get top 20 fragrances in my collection 2024. I will get that out because I do that once a year. And I was thinking about it in the last couple of days when I'm kind of getting ideas on which annual lists do I want to revamp this month? Which do I want to wait till next month? So you want to try to spread them out. You want to do everything in two weeks, two, three weeks, and just do every 2024, everything for two weeks straight. You know what I mean? Um, I like to space them out a little bit and do some reviews and hauls and first impressions and think like I do other things in between. The weekly rotation comes up once a week and so on. So, uh, yeah, I'll do that. I appreciate the super chat. I will do the top 20 where this month ends. Long time. Just purchased Legend Night. Never tried it. Sounds good. What are your thoughts? The violet's not overdone and not too powdery. It's not the kind of violet that you get from um, Fahrenheit either. It's a little on the floral side, a little powdery, not super powdery. Uh has a little bit of a cardamom spiciness to it. It's... It's not as musky as the as regular legend. It's a very underappreciated evening wear scent. It is a solid fragrance. And the knock always was performance. That's always the first thing people go to. When it comes to things that I'm going to wear on a date, I don't want crazy performance anyway. Because I'm not out trying to, like, I'm on a date. Like, even if I was, like, a first date, like, wh why would you want to overwhelm somebody? You know what I mean? Like you want to leave a little room for discovery, make them want to come in closer kind of thing. <clears throat> and that's where I think the six hours or less intimate kind of projection and sillage is what works best on those scenario fragrances. And that one suits the scenario very well. Roughly a six, five, six hour fragrance. It's not a real strong projector, but it leaves that light whiff CIs that can kind of grab somebody, make them pull in a little bit more because it doesn't smell like everything else. It's not uh, super generic, I don't think, anyways. So it's actually a pretty good fragrance. No worries. No worries. Just, just ask. Uh, if I can answer some, whatever I can answer, I will answer. And that, that's a very easy one, you know. So we're about to hit an hour. We'll hang out for a few more minutes. I appreciate you guys that are hanging out with me. Because we got everything out the way for those of you just joining. Oud line, smooth, sweet oud. Kind of surprised me that it was so smooth. Seven out of ten. Doesn't really speak to me, but it is a good fragrance. Mr. Majestic from Atrium. This one took me back. I was very surprised. This is really good. It's not too sweet of a plum, but it is juicy plum dominant. 
It smells like a gingerbread cookie, the way the cardamom in the woods come across. It shows iris, but it's not a heavy iris. Very warm, rich fragrance. This is a good one. This is way better than Mr. Romantic, which is the only other I've tried from the house. Need to add rich wood to the collection. Just ordered how Fetty Black Rose. Can't wait. Hope it's very masculine. It's a very masculine rose fragrance. It's a uh, very resinous, dry, woody, and very spicy. The black pepper is very, very dominant, but it's not that cheap synthetic black pepper. It's Sri Lankan black pepper. It's quality and a very rich pepper. It doesn't like tickle the nose, but it's very spiced. Very spiced. Senna Day's Tarathi Blue, and I just recently got Alexandria Fragrance Le Meteor, and damn, almost spot on to LV. Good to see you, Kyler. I appreciate that. Thank you, man. This was when they first changed to the Pelicans. Uh, that's when New Era put this run of hats out. And uh, that's the Pelicans, Florida Lee. So this hat's like, shit, a decade old, maybe 10 years old, this hat. All right, let's see. Where was I? My favorite Aqua de Parma is Colonia Pura. Definitely my favorite. I have most of my Aqua de Parmas, aside from Colonia Pura and Colonia Club, are Blue Mediterranean flankers. I got a bunch of really good ones. I need to spend more time with them this year. But I would say uh, Colonia Pura is the one that speaks to me the most. It's the one when I'm in the mood for the house or something really fresh and niche. I go, that's one of the first fragrances I think of. Chapard Cedar Malachi on the way. That's a good one. It's still right here. That's a good one. This was one of my favorite re designer releases of last year. I didn't get it in time for it to make the video. I got it right after the video came out. Those are really good. You just got to temper your expectation in performance with those blue Mediterranean flankers. As long as you're okay with three, four, maybe five hours if you're lucky. Hour projection at best. It's an experience fragrance. They're made for super hot days. They're refreshing. They're photorealistic. They are gorgeous and you can get them for a good price you can get five ounce bottles for like 60 70 bucks most places testers they still come with a cap that's what most of mine are beautiful fragrances yeah and you can just every two three hours just go back to spraying get the big bottle and just spray away middle of nowhere looks exciting so yeah so that's for uh for the privé line the stuff he's doing over in namibia he's got three different stops so uh so I thought he was doing the Black Rose stuff. Not yet. That's a different stop. Three bottle challenge. Dark Rebel, Vintage Green. I'm assuming, oh, John Barbados Vintage and Artisan Pure versus Udenu. Oh, I would take uh I would take the three John Barbados fragrances. Yeah, I would take the Barbados fragrances. They're more interesting. Oud Noir is good and Dylan Blue's phenomenal. Poor Ohm's like the best office scent of all time. It's the least offensive fragrance I think I've ever smelled. But Dark Rebel, oh man, it's heyday, one of the greatest for cooler weather ever. Um, haven't worn that in a long ass time. It's such a good fragrance though. Vintage, I called the Justin Copeland special. He brought so much hype to that fragrance. It's got a lot of character, beautiful everyday wear. And then Artisan Pure, uh, a not so synthetic, cheap, fresh fragrance. It doesn't smell super cheap, but you can get it for 30 some odd dollars. I appreciate that, Robert. Thank you, sir. I get your nose on Vinny Havan. Will not disappoint. Greetings to the chat. Dan Bourne, how are you? What do you when do you think you'll retire from the fragrance community? Plan to do this forever? No. Yeah, never. I've always been into fragrances, and this is a creative outlet for me. So probably never. Even if it goes from going up to going down one day. I mean, as the inevitable, right? I'm still gonna do it. I still love doing this. Long as people are watching, I'll still keep. I'll still make videos. You know, it's fair. Colonia Club, great new release, too different than Colonia Club. So they they revamped it. Man, if you want a different take on ombre leather, my scent of the day would be a great option to sample. Purple suede from Goldfield and Banks. It's not crazy expensive. Quality's really good. It's a nice woodsy ombre leather type of fragrance. I like it. I like it. It's, it's a little floral. I haven't tried Killer Oud Overdose. Unfortunately, I can't weigh in. 
Have a good one, Joe. We're about to shut it down, too. Actually, I think that's a good spot. We're hour and five minutes. I appreciate everybody for being here. Thank you to all the new members and the member upgrades. Uh, the polls for those um, to decide what's going to be given away will be probably Monday or Tuesday, I would say. It'll be sometime early next week, um, as well as any of you that gave Super Chats. Of course, I greatly appreciate that. That top 20 fragrances in my collection, that's going to be a hard-ass video to do. I've got so many fragrances in the last six months that I really enjoy, it's going to be hard to figure out because some stuff's going to get bumped. It's going to be a pretty, you know, pretty different from what it was before. It might even have to be 25. I don't know. We'll see, but it's going to be at least 20. Ain't no way I can just do 10. 10 so hard to do at, for a topic like that, but uh, definitely check out today's video. If you guys haven't yet, we will be back tomorrow with another live stream, probably just a random Q&A, no specific topic with fragrances. The last few have been centered around some fragrances. We'll just talk fragrances and whatever else have you. I think we'll just do a random Friday live chat. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Once again, thank you all for being here. And hit that thumbs up on your way out. Have a good one.